this is the VEDA cell that has been modified. Uh, as you can see, I was able to place a grommet into the top cap and put a uh, meat thermometer. It's stainless steel is very inexpensive. At least it will give me an idea of how hot things get inside. Uh, and that's not bad production. It's just been on for a few minutes now. Uh, and you can see inside the cell. Uh, it's an old design. It's been criticized as being a heat maker, um, but um, doing pretty good right now. And that's with um, 14 volts and about 18 watts or 18 uh, amps. <coughs> um, the cell itself. Let me turn this off. And this will settle down. With what I did with the uh, the cylinder, these are cylinders uh, basically. And what I did was <coughs> coat the cylinders with goop. So the whole way around through here, on the outside cylinders, fully co covered with goop. The um, electrodes are insulated, and the um, the temperature uh, probe, which you can see is extended downward from the um, top there, um, is also covered with goop, all that to isolate. You can see maybe a little bit of the goop down here, all to isolate, so uh, there, there's no dead um, currents leaking off the uh, top. So you can get a little bit of a better look there. And so obviously hoping for more production. I'll hook this up again. And you see the production is quite brisk from the inside, it seems. Let's, let's take that off again. Let's crank up the um, power a little bit. Right then up to turn the power and watch the how the and it's just not a very good flow through design but pretty good should be better maybe when it gets warmed up a little bit it have better production yeah. and as you can see here Hello. not too bad. Um, I think the electrolyte combination right now, or the configuration is, it's sodium hydroxide. Uh, one liter per, I think it's three quarters of a teaspoon of sodium hydroxide. Temperature's still not up too much yet, but it is, the water's starting to feel a little bit warm. So I'm hoping it won't go too much above 140 there. But this will get an idea as to how hot the thing really gets inside. Again, this, this this particular design is criticized as being a heat maker, um, so I'm hoping heat won't be too much of an issue. Um, I, I wish there was a way to circulate electrolyte in there a little bit better to force bubbles through, um, but um, come up with better ideas to help make this uh, cell design a little bit more efficient. Uh, along with an EFI. Uh, this particular cell, without the modifications that I've done, costs about $200, uh, and this is to go into my dad's um, my dad's Civic. I'm going to probably mount this into the trunk.